Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. In today's video, we begin day four of filming, and we've jumped all the way up to November 27th of 2021 when we return to complete the series. We're on US Highway 61 South on the Memphis Arkansas Bridge over the Mississippi River, and for now, we're concurrent with Interstate 55 and US Highways 64, 70, and 79, as well as Tennessee Highway 1 upon crossing the state line. This brings us into the city of Memphis in Shelby County, Tennessee, where we'll be throughout this entire video until we reach the Mississippi state line. US 61 only runs for 11.9 miles in Tennessee. We're approaching the notorious I-55 Crump Boulevard interchange that narrows I-55 down to a single lane in each direction for a slow 90 degree turn in the southbound lanes and an even slower 270 degree turn in the northbound lanes. Take a good look at it because as of June 19, 2022, construction has begun on a new $141 million interchange, including a roundabout to replace the cloverleaf and bridge decking repairs on I-55. The project is scheduled for completion in 2025. We're now on E.H. Crump Boulevard in an industrial area that looks rather abandoned and neglected. This is an example of the nearby interstate causing the death of the area along the old U.S. route which is probably very seldom used by through traffic the way we're using it today. The only traffic through here is people with a specific origin or destination in this area. Even if someone was deliberately following US 61 through Memphis, there's a good chance they'd end up taking I-55 to the next crossing of US 61 a few miles down the road, possibly not even realizing they'd gotten off track. At South 3rd Street, which is also called B.B. King Boulevard to the left and B.B. King Highway to the right, all of the current concurrencies end and we pick up a new one, Tennessee Highway 14, which will stay with us to the Mississippi state line. Things are looking a little less abandoned, but equally neglected along this stretch of highway. This area is known as South Memphis and is one of the oldest parts of the city. Not all of South Memphis looks like this, but once again, it's the stigma of taking the old U.S. highway when there's a nice, shiny, high-speed interstate just a few blocks away. Little is even done to keep the road in good repair because it doesn't carry the thousands and thousands of vehicles daily that it did in the 1960s and earlier. And please don't misunderstand, this isn't a Memphis problem or even a Tennessee problem. It's something that's seen all over the United States, where busy commercial districts and even entire cities or towns are forgotten because traffic has been shifted to a new location.
Here we cross I-55 and the highway takes on a different look. Because this is where US-61 starts to separate from I-55, it carries more traffic trying to access the southwestern suburbs of Memphis and eventually northwestern Mississippi. From the I-55 on-ramp almost to the Mississippi state line, there are three lanes in each direction. We cross the Nancona Creek on this bridge, built by the Virginia Bridge and Iron Company in 1929. The northbound bridge was built in 1964. After the bridge, US-61 is divided by a shared center turning lane. We'll be going through a commercial corridor the whole way, surrounded by suburban neighborhoods such as Valley Forge, Southland Hills, Westwood Meadows, Cypresswood, West Haven, and Westwood Shores, among others.
Here we see a short concurrency with Tennessee State Secondary Highway 175. We conclude today's video as we cross the state line into DeSoto County, Mississippi. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.